everybody, so I want to show you how you can blur out somebody's face on Wondershare Filmora. The thing is, if they are like stagnant like I am, it's really easy to blur out their face. However, if they're moving around a little bit like this, and then they move over here, yeah. go back here a little bit. Well, I'm going to show you uh, how you can blur out some of the spaces that's basically moving and it's going to take a little bit of time, okay? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, I was like pretty lazy on the way I did it, but what I want to do is I, ju I just want to give you the gist of how to actually blur someone's face, okay? I mean, obviously, you know, blurring someone's face, especially if they're moving, is going to take some time. So you can see here I have on my timeline. Now basically this is like a 33 second clip. Okay, I recorded myself, then I imported in here, and I basically blurred uh, as much as I could. I mean I was really lazy on this, but it, this is a 30, 33 second clip, and to blur everything it probably took me like a little bit less than like five minutes, about five minutes. So a 30 second clip took me five minutes and I like really like rushed it and I'll show you how you can kind of be like lazy but of course you can make it more professional but you can see I have a lot of clips in here and you can see where I cut a lot of it here basically this is when I started like moving okay now at the beginning of the video I was pretty I was pretty um, stagnant I was pretty much right here the whole time so this one whole entire clip was I just had one like square blur on my face and then I started as the video started progressing I started moving and then I started having to um, start cutting a lot of like clips in here. So let me show you how I did this. And also about the voice, like let me just show you my regular voice. Hey everybody, so I want to show you how you... So what I did was I actually decreased my pitch because if, if you guys have ever seen those like drug documentaries, like those drug dealers and they always like blur in their face and their voice is always like disguised and it's like really, um, uh, really deep like this. You can blur out somebody's, somebody's face on Wondershare for Mora, Mora. The thing is, if they are... So that's basically how you do it. You just uh, decrease the pitch on the voice. But anyways, okay, so let me go ahead and import my original video clip, okay? And it's this one here. I'm going to drag. I'm going to drop this onto my timeline. Now let me just press on play here. Hey, everybody. Okay, so basically, you know... I started it like right here. I, I cut this right here, and this beginning part is just trash. Now this whole like beginning part right here, I'm just gonna walk the, walk this down the timeline. You can see my face is pretty much in one area, so this would be like easy to blur out. So I'm gonna keep on just walking it down. Okay, so this is where I started moving. So let me just go back. So like right here you can see my face is still like in that position where it's basically like in the middle. So what I can do here is I can highlight my clip just like that and then go ahead and cut it. And now this is the first part to blur is go ahead and highlight this first clip now and then you want to tap on the wand or the power tool right there. Let me show you again. Here's the power tool or it looks like a wand icon. Click on that and now it's just going, this is going to be super repetitive. Okay click on mosaic, click on apply mosaic to clip, click on add. Now from here like this square box like pops up here, it's a rectangle box but of course you can resize it whatever size you want. Now here's the percentage of it. The default it runs, it starts at 20 but if you go all the way to 100 it's basically it makes a big giant block just like that. So if I start decreasing it you can see you start seeing a little bit more of my face. So but for this tutorial, I just left it on like 20 percent. I think that's good. So, anyways, you want to go ahead and just you know make this shape around the individual face that you want to blur, and then click on play. Hey, everybody. Okay, now you can see like my eye kind of came out of there. So you now you want to go is let's go out a little bit more, and then press on so play. So I'm going to show you how you. Okay, my eye was still kind of like out a little bit. Press on play. You can blur out somebody's face on. The thing is, if they, like I am, it's really easy to blur okay, out so, the face. Okay, so that's pretty much good there. Around. I mean, if you wanted to like cover up the jaw a little bit more, you can just go like that. Then we'll just press on OK. And what I would really want to do is start getting into parts where I start like moving. So let me just go ahead and skip some of this. And let me get to the parts where I start to move. Okay, so here we go. So here's some parts I'm starting to move. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and cut the clip right here. Let me highlight this. Let me go ahead and cut this. 
And now let me just press on play. Ooh, okay, you seen that move right there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Now I'm going to press on play again. Ooh, that was a nice move again. Let me go ahead and cut it here again. Let me press play again. Okay, it's another move. Got to cut it again. Let me press play again. Whoa. Okay, let me go ahead and cut it here again. Okay, so th let's just start off with this one here. So I'm going to highlight this clip here. And another thing is, too, th this is really a big deal, too, because if, if you're, like, wanted to, if somebody's moving really fast and you want to blur their face out, you know, you, you're going to get really tall, like, you know, you're going to cut, like, really tiny frames. So what you have to do is, like, zoom in on the timeline. Just make this bigger so you're able to see here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this clip, and then I'm going to click on this Power Tools, the wand again. And remember, this part is redundant. Click on Mosaic. Click on Apply Mosaic to Clip. And then click on Add. And I'm going to leave it at 20%. And now I'm just going to press on Play. Oh, okay. I've seen that. Now I'm going to go ahead and move that over. And this is me being kind of lazy. Of course, if you want to be more professional, then you can uh, basically uh, cut cut more pieces of the uh, the video clip. Okay, that's that's like pretty good. I can move it there, and let me show you what that looks like. Okay, perfect. I'll click on OK. Let's go to the next frame here. I'm gonna click on the wand again. Click on Mosaic. Click on Apply Mosaic to clip, clip, and then tap on Add. And then we press on Play here. Okay, that's a nice move there. So I'm gonna basically black my face on the left here, and I know I moved over here a little bit like that. Press on Play. Move oh, that's perfect right there. So I'm going to go ahead and OK that. And then we'll go to the next clip here. And another thing is, too, is when you're actually um, done these clips, what you can do is you start going like frame by frame, like right here. But instead of clicking here, what you can do is go into your keyboard and start clicking the uh, the right um, the, the right arrow like this. <laughs> or, of course, if you click the left arrow, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go to the left. Okay, but you can start going frame by frame, make sure everything is blurred. So let me go ahead and continue. I go to, I think I was on this frame here. I'll click on the one. I'll click on mosaic. Click on apply mosaic to clip. Click on add, and then let me press on play. Let me just move this right here. Press on here. play. Here. Okay, let me just move this down. Cover the mouth a little bit more. Here. That's good. So I'm gonna click on OK. And let's do one more clip here, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the wand, click on mosaic, click on apply mosaic to clip, and then click on add. And let me just start it here on the left and just press play. Okay, I didn't move to the side. I actually went down, so let me move that a little bit thinner to match the size of my face. Okay, and if you want to cover a little bit of your chin, that's perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what this looks like now. And this is only like a couple seconds, but and then and then the move over, the move over here, here, here. Yeah. Okay, so you've seen basically the blur kind of like followed me. Now there's another thing that you can do. Uh, it's called blur uh, in the uh, within the uh, within the power tools here. It's called face off, but I wouldn't recommend it because I mean, if you do this, it's going to like, it, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be like coming like off and on. This is the best way to do it. And like I said, if they're moving around a lot, it's going to take time. So that's pretty much it for this video. And if you guys have any other uh, questions or want me to show you something else, uh, just comment below. And of course, if you subscribe, share, like, I appreciate it. Thanks. I love trading, tech reviews, how-tos, and much more.